Hi. Good morning. Back in April, uh, we came before the board and got approval to submit a grant application uh, to Homeland Security grant funding. And in September, uh, we received notice that we'd actually been awarded funding. Uh, it was a reduced amount from what we applied for, but we did receive $15,000. And the purpose of the grant was to buy, purchase uh, equipment um, and, and training aids that we could uh, place uh, AEDs or defibrillators in certain uh, public high, high traffic buildings. It also conduct the training that would be necessary so that we have people who knew how to use them. Uh, so if someone, you know, someone from the public was in, say, that this building has, has a heart attack, we've got you know, not only equipment for training people to hopefully provide them some life, um, uh, life saving measures. So um, the majority of that funding was going to go toward the purchase of the AEDs. So we submitted um, we submitted a, a request for bids from several um, several vendors, and uh, those sealed bids were returned. And, and once they were open back in December, the um, the low bidder um, was from Lifeguard Medical, and uh, they submitted a bid on a uh, Phillips Heart Start inside AED. And so in your packet, I included some information on that particular piece of equipment in case you're interested. And so uh, if the bids are approved, as, uh, the low bidder is approved as presented, what we would do is purchase 14 AEDs um, and also the wall cabinet that would be mounted. Uh, it has an alarm on it, so we put the AED in there. And uh, if the alarm lets us know, so if somebody just comes walking by and opens it up, and when it's open, it alerts you to let you know that somebody's getting the AED. Um, and uh, that way, they'll, you know, hopefully keep tampering with it. And uh, then also, um, as part of conducting the training that's necessary, like we need the, the AED trainer that's comparable to that, that model of AED so we can, we can get up training with people um, that might be using that equipment. So, uh, and, and this is a 100% uh, funded grant. The way it works is we will front the money, we'll purchase the equipment, and then as soon as um, the equipment comes in, we can invoice, then we'll, we'll turn around and submit a reimbursement request Jimmy reimburse us through the grant fund 5%. So there's really no cash. Um, you know, there's no, it's not have a budget impact directly on the county budget, but we do, we do have to um, pay for the fund to get reimbursed. So that's the way that works. If I answer any questions you might have about it. Any questions for Mr. Tucker? This just sounds good. Um, how, how many people do, do we expect to get certified or trained on this equipment? Um, I mean, really, the, I would say kind of the sky's the limit. I mean, it's kind of dependent on um, the interest, you know, this, it can be an ongoing thing. So, um, you know, typically we try and ha have classes of about 20 at a time. So my goal would be, um, you know, over the course of the first year to have at least 100 people. And, and these are going to be spread out. You know, there'll be some place in this building, the judicial, judicial building, uh, Boston City Hall, uh, the Annex, uh, the governmental building where the tax commissioners are, the uh, Board of Elections, and, um, and the, the regional library of Woodrow Wilson. So spread out over all those. And again, like I say, um, you know, as new, new people come in, uh, you know, obviously we want to have some employee people working with those buildings every day. Uh, but this training is, is will be made, be made available to the general public. So even if it's just um, just the average citizen that wants to get that training, and uh, you know, it's going to be useful for those people, but it could also be useful you know, if you're at the mall if you've got a training in your mall and, and, or another building that has ADs, um, the training works, you know, works the same. And uh, so hopefully we'll kind of build up our preparedness and our capability level throughout the community, uh, not just for these specific buildings. Thanks. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Todd. Well, at this time, we'll move on.